Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill, and today I want to talk about when to medicate and when not to medicate. Um, a lot of people come out with these amazing books that say they cured MS after having MS for about three years. They decide to do it holistically, and they're not going to take any medication, and they don't have attacks. Um, and they, they publish these books and these stories, and, and uh, um, they get a lot of people excited about curing their own MS. And I want to just tell you that the reality is that each person who has multiple sclerosis may have a different type of MS. Um, my MS, for instance, when I first was diagnosed, I was put on medication right away. And I was told it was to make sure that I didn't keep having attacks. Well, um, for the first couple years, the th first three years, um, I exercised, I did step and all, um, and I went off the medication because the side effects were just too much. Beta seron side effects on me were terrible. So I went off that. Well, fast forward, then about five years later, moved to Washington State. And uh, my MS, I wasn't on medication, it just went haywire, where I was having about five attacks um, a year. Every, every couple, let's see, about every month, uh, I'd have another flare. So um, the doctors decided to put me on medication. Um, could I have continued without medication? Uh, I suppose, but then again, it, it, there's a direct, cause and effect. How uh, was I willing to uh, be in the wheelchair because one of them put me in the wheelchair, uh, one of the attacks, or was I more willing to take a medication that would keep me or slow down these attacks from happening? So I went on um, uh, Avonex at that point. Uh, I was also on Copaxone at the same time. Um, now at this point, each person uh, like take my example, you may have a mild case where uh, you end up getting MS and, and you may have one attack and then it may be dormant for a number of years and then all hell will strike loose. Um, so we've got to be uh, cautious when, when uh, getting sucked up in these hype the, these ideas about following certain diets and it makes us feel better and it cures our MS. Following any diet or taking uh, supplements or exercising or getting massages is going to of course make everybody feel a little better. We all should be doing that anyway and if your MS is the reason why you're doing it then that's fantastic. It's great. Um, how does that go with, with medicating yourself or staying away from medication? You can either stay, get on medication be, uh, for fear or not fear as preventive maintenance, um, not knowing, or if you're very conservative, you can try to do what I did, wait until you ha start having these attacks and uh, make a decision to just really be aggressive and do everything to stay um, healthy. The, the one thing that I want you to keep in mind is that every time you have an attack, you have a scar on your brain that stays on that brain um, and there's potential when it, after you've had relapsing remitting for a long time and you go into chronic progressive there when that damage becomes old, those uh, old former damage, the former symptoms you had when you initially had the attack, they may come back so uh, uh, and lead to disability. So it is, uh, that's what you got to think about. Uh, um, they may not come back, but uh, um, the reason why people get disabled is um, because the second part of the disease, it's the old damage, uh, comes back. It just, uh, I have, my worst problems aren't from attacks, they're from symptoms I had from the attacks that have returned. So I've got a lot, my left knee used to give out, and left knee now 
just doesn't work. So I keep it locked all the time. Um, foot drop, permanent now. Um, so they're, they're things. Uh, um, if I had been on these medications, would it prevented me from uh, going into the secondary? Would it would have prevented all the attacks and prevented me from being disabled? Well, you know, that's another argument. You don't know. Uh, I think it hedges your bet to, to, to uh, give you the best chance of not having this damage happen. But uh, there are no silver linings with MS. It just, and each person has different level of aggressive uh, relapsing remitting or, or just a, a mild case. Some people have MS and, and me just okay some people have MS and do very well with the okay sorry about that but some people have MS and and you know have a very mild case they've had it for 20 or 30 or 40 years and they don't even walk with a cane and that may be you but can take that in consideration um, you know, it's, it, nobody gets a free ride with this disease. So anyway, God bless you. Please subscribe. Go to msfrontiers.org and keep coming back.